Hey, welcome to This Mama's House. Today I'm sharing with you all about Fly Lady. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha from thismamashouse.com. I am a wife and homeschool mom to six. On this channel, I talk all about homemaking, and today I'm going to give you a complete beginner's rundown of what the Fly Lady cleaning method is. I hope you're excited. Currently, I am doing an entire Fly Lady series on my channel. I will link the whole playlist down below, so if you'd like to see my other videos about Fly Lady, go check it out after you're done watching this one. Let's jump into it. So first of all, what is Fly Lady anyways? Fly Lady is an entire life management system that can completely change your mindset on homemaking, household chores, and basically just life in general. Fly Lady was created by a lady named Marla Silly, and she has a book called Sync Reflections. She also has a YouTube channel and a website, and she is just devoted to teaching women how to manage their lives in a non-stressful way. Household chores can become completely overwhelming, especially for those of you that are maybe living with a lot of clutter and you don't even know where to start. Fly Lady is perfect for you. So why does Fly Lady work? Fly Lady works because it's so simple. Once you know how the system works, it really is very simple. It just takes the stress out of housework and it makes it just way more easy to manage. You're doing tasks that take 2 to 15 minutes at a time and when you think of it that way, you're never going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to stay on top of certain things each and every day so that they never become a problem. So who is Fly Lady for? Fly Lady is for an overwhelmed mom that doesn't have a handle on her household chores, a depleted mom that isn't keeping her own self-care a priority, it's for any person that is managing their house, whether they're a mom, a stay-at-home mom, somebody that goes to work, and even guys could do this too. It's just anybody who has a house and is having a hard time keeping track of everything that needs to be done. And I say house to include apartments, you know, anybody that lives somewhere you can use Fly Lady. Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. I have been drinking AG1 by Athletic Greens for over a year now, and I love it. It is such an amazing nutritional drink. It has so many amazing ingredients and benefits. Let me tell you all about it. AG1 is formulated with 75 vitamins and minerals. It has probiotics, prebiotics, adaptogens, mushrooms, all sorts of amazing goodness that's going to make you feel your best. And if you are a mom, a homemaker, or anyone that has a lot going on, you definitely want to feel your best every day. And this is such a simple way to do that. So this has replaced my multivitamin and so many other supplements that I used to take. All it requires is eight ounces of water, one scoop of AG1, you shake it and you drink. It takes less than one minute a day and the benefits are amazing. I also take their vitamin D supplement, which is my favorite vitamin D supplement I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of them, but this one is just the best. It's so easy to take. You only need one to two drops a day and that's it. With your nutritional drink and your vitamin D, you are set to live a healthy life. And I have noticed some really great benefits. I think my mental clarity is much better. I have more sustained energy. As far as how it tastes, I feel like it tastes really, really good. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. There's no weird, nasty taste. It looks a little bit scary, like it's gonna taste bad, but trust me, it doesn't. So Athletic Greens is offering you guys five free packs plus an entire year's supply of their vitamin D. If you click the link down below, 
you will get that amazing deal. So how does it work? I think this is why a lot of you might have been clicking on the video. There's a lot of information out there about how Fly Lady works. So I was hoping that this video can help those of you who are feeling overwhelmed by all of the things and make it just really easy to understand. So I'm gonna break it down into three steps. The three steps of Fly Lady are your daily routines, your weekly routines, and your monthly routines. The first thing is your daily routine. These are things that you are gonna do morning, noon, and night to keep your house on track. So let's talk about it. Starting with the morning routine, the first thing you're gonna do is make your bed as soon as your feet hit the floor. This is gonna take you less than two minutes and it's gonna make such a big difference on how your bedroom feels. Next up is 15 minutes of loving movement, which basically means exercise, but I love how it's phrased. I feel like that just makes it feel so much more positive. You can take a walk, do a workout video, whatever feels good to you. But just remember that this is not only a home management routine, this is a life routine and we are going to be focusing on not only taking care of our homes but also taking care of ourselves. Next up is getting dressed to shoes, whether you take a shower, you do your hair and makeup, whatever feels good to you, you at least need to get out of your pajamas, out of your sweatpants and get ready for the day. Next up is swish and swipe while you're already in the bathroom and getting ready for the day. You're going to do a quick swish and swipe of the bathroom and just get it tidied up, nothing left on the counter, and a quick little wipe down. It takes less than two minutes and it's going to make a huge difference. Now if you have multiple bathrooms in your house, just pick one bathroom each day to do the swish and swipe. Next up is to eat your breakfast. You wanna make sure you're taking care of yourself and getting some nourishing food in to fuel you for your day. Then while you're in the kitchen, you're done with your breakfast, empty the dishwasher. Now you'll have a place to put all of your dirty dishes throughout the day. And now you're gonna also start a load of laundry and check your calendar for whatever you have going on that day. For the afternoon routine, you are gonna check what's for dinner. If you meal plan, Maybe you already know what you're going to have for dinner, but you might have to pull out some meat or do some prep work to be prepared for dinner. Now you also have a reminder to drink your water. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, mama. And this is also your time to reboot your laundry by switching it over to the dryer. And then you're also going to spend 15 minutes in your zone. And we will talk about what zones mean in just a few minutes. And then for your evening routine, you're going to shine your sink. So this is after dinner. You're going to clean your dishes and put them all in the dishwasher or wash them by hand, whatever you have to do. Start your dishwasher and then you're going to take your clothes out of the dryer, fold them and put them away. And now that you have all your clean clothes, you can lay out your clothes for tomorrow. This will just take the decisions out of the equation tomorrow when you're getting ready. And then you can also check your calendar to make sure you know what's happening tomorrow. Put your things out at the launch pad. The launch pad is basically just the place that you have maybe by the door where your keys are, you're gonna set your purse, put your kids' backpacks, whatever you need for tomorrow, you can put it at the launch pad. Then you're gonna spend two minutes clearing a hot spot. Hot spots are just the space in your house that always collect clutter. People walk in the door and they set things there. Maybe it's a space in your kitchen counter or a table or just some random spot where it just seems to collect color clutter. Spend two minutes clearing that off. Set a timer and just do what you can for two minutes. And then the nightly self-care is going to bed at a decent hour. Maybe you want to do some skincare, wash your face, take a bath, whatever that means for you. Just make sure you're spending a little bit time, a little bit of time on yourself at night. So once you have those daily routines mastered, now you can begin to think about your weekly routines. Now your weekly routines are going to be different things that you do each day of the week. So every Monday, you're gonna have something specific that you focus on. Every Tuesday, you're gonna have something specific that you focus on every Wednesday and so on and so forth. So let's talk about the weekly daily focus. Now the way that Fly Lady has the daily focuses laid out 
is as follows. On Monday is your weekly home blessing. Your weekly home blessing is a time that you're going to spend one hour blessing your home by vacuuming, mopping, changing the sheets on all the beds, dusting and wiping the vertical surfaces like windows and mirrors. You're going to empty all the trash and clear any paper clutter that you have. You're going to spend 10 minutes only on each task. You're not trying to be perfect on the weekly home blessing. You're not trying to get your house perfectly clean. You're just going to bless it. I love what Fly Lady says when she tells you that even housework done incorrectly is still going to bless your family. So really focus on just spending the 10 minutes on each task and don't try to make it perfect. I'm going to have a whole video on the weekly home blessing soon, so keep an eye out on that one. For Tuesday, this is your planning day. So this will be the day that you go in your planner, you check your calendar, you get anything set up that you need, appointments or date nights, babysitters, whatever you have. That is your day to plan. On Wednesday, it is called anti-procrastination day. This is the day that you tackle whatever you have been putting off, something that takes not very long at all, 10 minutes or less, but you've just been putting it off for some reason. It's time to tackle it on Wednesday. Thursday is errands day. You want to try to plan for all of your errands to be on the same day. That way you're not having to leave the house. If you're struggling with keeping a home management routine, you want to be home as much as possible so that you can be caring for that space. So just plan all of your errands, your grocery shopping, your appointments, whatever you have to do outside of the house for Thursday, which is errands day. For Friday, that is your car and bag day, and this is the day that you're going to quickly take whatever trash you have in your car or your bags and just reset your cars and bags. So maybe you're going to want to vacuum out your car, um, just get any trash out, bring things that need to go inside, and then your bags, you're going to take any receipts or garbage out of your bag, reorganize it. Fill your diaper bag with diapers and wipes. Make sure everything is restocked. And just doing this once a week, it's never going to become an issue. Your car is never going to be crazy if you're keeping up with it once a week. Saturday is your family fun day. Just take some time to connect with your family. Do something fun. It doesn't have to be extravagant like going to the zoo or you know something crazy every single week you could stay at home and do some board games have a movie night whatever it is just have that family connection time and then on sunday this is your renew your spirit day so if you go to church this is your day to go to church maybe you want to spend some time reading the bible or whatever feels good to you a little spa day um, just spend that time to rest and reset now, I want to mention that some of these things I don't do on the day that Fly Lady tells me to do it. So you really just want to make this work for you. These are just really good ideas on things you should be doing each week. So rearrange it to make it work for your schedule and your life. Don't feel like you have to follow her plan exactly how she lays it out. The whole point of this is just to give you an idea and then you make it work for you. Now that you have routines, and daily focus mastered. Now let's talk about what you're doing on a monthly basis. And this is where zones come in. Throughout the month, you are gonna be rotating through different zones in your house. So the Fly Lady breaks your house down into five different zones. Let's talk about what that means. This monthly zone visual, I feel like really helps kind of make it makes sense. So the first week of the month you're going to be focusing in zone one which is your front porch, your entryway, and your dining room. Each day of the week in the first week of the month you're going to spend 15 minutes in your zone. If you are just getting started on the fly lady routine and this is just the beginning of your journey you may need to spend 15 minutes decluttering in that zone because as the fly lady says you cannot clean clutter. If you don't really have much clutter going on in your house, then you're going to spend 15 minutes deep cleaning in that zone each day of the week. Zone two is your kitchen and pantry. So same thing, 
15 minutes a day deep cleaning or decluttering. Zone three is your kids' bedrooms and laundry room. Zone four is the master bedroom, bathroom, closet, and office. And zone five is the living room. So I actually have my zones laid out just a little bit differently than what Fly Lady recommends. So once again, if this does not work for your home, if your home just has a completely different layout, if you don't even have kids' bedrooms, just make it work for you. Divide your home into five separate areas that just make sense, and that way you will have five different areas to work through. Now, some months are a little weird. If a month starts on Saturday, you'll only get one day in that zone. You can choose to just only do one day and wait till the next month to go back to zone one, or you can start a new zone on the Monday of each week. It's really up to you if you wanna rotate it or if you wanna go by the month system. Okay, let's take zone five, the living room, for an example. So you're working in zone five. That week you're gonna spend 15 minutes a day deep cleaning that room. So you're gonna start, set your timer for 15 minutes and maybe the first day you only get to cleaning the cobwebs and cleaning the windows in that 15 minutes. So the next day you pick up right where you left off and that day you got straightening the bookcases, dusting the knickknacks and cleaning out the end tables all done. So then you pick up on the third day and you're able to straighten the closets and drawers, wipe the fingerprints from the walls, polish the furniture, clean out magazine racks, and clean the phone, if anybody still has a house phone. <laughs> and then the fourth day is cleaning under the cushions of the couch, cleaning out the fireplace, moving the furniture, and vacuuming. So that is four days worth of zone cleaning for 15 minutes a day, which is one hour. You'll have one day of the week that you're doing your weekly home blessing, and then have the weekends off. So that is a total week in zone five. Now you didn't get everything done. Shampooing the carpet did not get done this month. So what you're gonna do is next month when you're back in zone five, you start wherever you left off the month before, which is at shampooing carpets. And then you do that first, and then you work your way back up to the top of the list and just rework the list again. So by the end of the month, you've deep cleaned your whole house, but you're only doing it in 15 minute chunks at a time, and you're not worrying about getting it all done at once. You're just taking a small area of your home and focusing there. It just takes the pressure off of trying to get everything in your whole house done. That's just not sustainable. This is just something that's so much more low pressure but it's really going to make a huge difference in your home. And like I said, if you're not ready to start the deep cleaning, you're really going to want to spend that time primarily decluttering first. So I hope this video helped to explain Fly Lady. And just to recap, you're going to have your daily routines, your daily focus, and your monthly zones. Each week of the month has a different zone to focus on. And you're going to start with decluttering and then move in to cleaning in those zones. Don't spend more than 15 minutes at a time in your zone cleaning. It's not meant to be overwhelming. We're supposed to be just making progress, not shooting for perfection. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, stay tuned for my next one where I'm going to share just how to get started. Exactly the steps to take in order to get started and jump into this routine. Thinking about doing daily routines and daily focus and daily zone cleaning, it seems like a lot all at once, and it definitely is. So there's a way that you can break it down into baby steps, start a little bit slower, and kind of build the habit over time. And I'm going to share exactly how I think you should do that in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for stopping by This Mama's House. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!